Are you ready to share where Area 70 is with other surfers? No, why would I do that? Area 70 is a big wave spot out at sea that I found years ago now. It's something like um, just out of a dream, you know. It's a, a eerie place as well, you know. A strange place to be. <laughs> I put a lot of time and effort, years, months, preparing to find these waves. Why would I want to tell people where they are? I do think there's possibly the biggest waves in the world out there. There's a lot of media attention on big wave surfing in Ireland nowadays, but for me, I like to get away from that and go out and search these other spots, the newer ones, and that's what I like doing. I like going out and pioneering new waves, you know, finding new locations. They may not be world class on every day of the week, but they may be sometime, and that's why I'm hanging on to. I'm always thinking, oh, someday I'll get a really big wave here. It'll be the best wave I've ever ridden. Years ago, I surfed Mavericks in California. And Mavericks is one of the most infamous big wave spots on the planet. And what I did was I looked at the seabed there from their charts, their ocean charts, and I looked for similar characteristics and similar changes in depth that they have to what we have along this coastline. I looked for similar areas, you know, to try and find big waves along here. So I borrowed money, bought a boat, and I went out here and I started searching for big waves here. I'm fortunate to have so many sources of information at my fingertips. I can see the bathymetry, the, you know, what the thing's made of, the swell direction it works on, the currents, the wind, everything. I can see all that stuff now. If you go back even just you know, one generation, you know, some of my friends, like the older guys, Johnny and those guys, they didn't have any of that. They literally only had a weather map and an, an ordinary survey map, and they went around the corner of the coastline searching for new waves. We were able to sort of piece it together from other charts and newspapers and uh, the old the forecast and television and, and shipping forecast was another one we used to listen to. We used to listen to that regularly. Like some of the stuff I've got access to is unbelievable. Yeah. To call a wave action model. It's basically it's predictions of you know what swell's coming over the next yeah, you know yeah. 144 hours, 150 hours. <laughs> and as I see all the swell approaching the coastline, the information gets more and more accurate. But then I zoom right down into the, the right. wave boy system. Okay. These yes. are these are big these are big objects moored out at sea or on boats and they measure the wind speed, uh, the gusts, the wind direction, air temperature, significant wave wow. height, everything. And because we're looking at these big waves and, and we're looking for a specific okay. conditions, specific times, we want, we want really, really accurate data. So you can work out then, you know, that wave boy is about 50 miles off the coast. Yes. So by the time the swell hits that, hits that wave boy, within a matter of hours, yeah. it's going to hit the coastline. Wow. It's, it's unreal. So that's it's, unbelievable. That's wild. Seriously. Yeah, whereas you guys you guys had days between seeing a weather We had a clue. Yeah, yeah, you've got it all. You've got it all. <laughs> Trouble has been brewing all day in the Atlantic. We had, of course, the disruptive snow to start the day. Now we're looking at this aggressive area of low pressure. And it's certainly going to pack a bunch as it moves in. Gales or severe gales in many areas. We got here at like 3.30 in the morning. Um, we pretended we slept for an hour, didn't really. Now we're in slip, we're here at 5 in the morning. It's snowing and we're going out the sea to go surfing. <laughs> The wave out of Area 70 basically breaks on a submerged mountain. The water's very deep around it, and then all of a sudden it rises up very, very abruptly to a shallow point about five metres deep. These big swell ends are coming out of the, the Atlantic, very raw energy, and they come out and they just all of a sudden they run into this mountainside under the water and they rise up, 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 and then they topple at the top and then they break. So the beauty of it, of it is that you're far out at sea, it's uninterrupted, you're not close to shore. Like other surf spots or big wave spots where the, the energy runs along the coastline and loses power and you know, scrapes on the bottom, out at sea it just comes out and explodes.
That was a pretty wild day in Area 70. This wave is going to torture me. I'm out here all the flipping time and I'm waiting on that, that one moment, that one bomb. I've seen waves out there that are massive. I've ridden, you know, 50, 60 footers out there. It, it's got potential to, you know, produce the biggest waves in the world, there's no doubt.